Hey guys, Bellamy here from Omni Night Science. I'm joined by my friends today. We just got out of the Oppenheimer uh, premiere. Yeah, so we have a new friend here today. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm YJ. Alright, yeah. so, so on this YouTube channel, right, everyone has a nickname. So think of a nickname for yourself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> can be like can be like your video game nickname or something, yeah. <laughs> When I was in secondary school, uh, my nickname is Megatron. So Megatron, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's perfect. And we are all Transformers fans here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have Megatron. we have Megatron, Vader, and I'm Bellamy from the Hundred. All right, so we just got out of seeing Oppenheimer. So, what are your quick thoughts, guys? Mind blown. Mind blown. Yeah. So, is this your favorite Christopher Nolan movie? No, it will still be Dark Knight. Okay. But uh, it's good like it's good. You definitely should catch it in IMAX. Yeah. So I I think it's a great movie, but I wouldn't say it's one of his best movies, but yeah, definitely catch it in IMAX if you can. Like the the visual spectacle of the movie is like the main selling part of the movie. Yeah. So Megatron, what what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I feel that um this is his second movie, uh that follows history after Dunkirk. And it's a very slow paced movie, more slow paced than his other movie, maybe because it was three hours long. But yeah, the as as what I could say it's meant to watch in IMAX. Uh, yeah. And the bigger the screen, the best sound system as possible. Yeah, but you need to I think you need to watch more than once to really understand the full yes, story behind not just the explosion but the aftermath of what he has caused and the effect it has on the world. So yeah, yeah it's a very I, intriguing stuff. Yeah, I was actually very surprised, like, because when you watch all the trailers, it's like they make it look like the explosion is like the the main part of the movie. But actually, when you watch the movie, like minor spoilers, like halfway through the movie, the explosion happens already, yeah. and then the next half of the movie is just dealing with like the the characters, the fallout from the explosion, how they all get on with their lives, and how they are treated by the public for what they did. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Yeah, unexpected, unexpected, unexpectedly. <laughs> yeah. Good. 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 Three hours. I, to pee, to pee. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did, I didn't know it was three hours. When I watched it. I thought, yeah, it didn't feel like three yeah, hours to me. Yeah, fast, yeah. very fast. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 very fast. Yeah, so highly recommend you guys watch it and watch it with a good sound system. So yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, IMAX is yeah. You should no, ideal choice. It's yeah, filmed yeah. in IMAX for IMAX. Yeah, the whole movie is yeah, IMAX expect ratio. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely watch it IMAX if you can, guys. All right. Any final thoughts? Oh yeah, what would you guys each rate the movie out of ten? I'll give it an 8 out of eight. 10. Uh, yeah, strong 9. La. Okay, I'll, I'll give it 7.5. Yeah. Alright. Alright, that's all for this review, guys. Go out and watch the movie this weekend, it's great. And yeah, watch Barbie. So, I mean, I haven't watched Barbie yet. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, get ready for the Barbie review, which <laughs> when I'm free, I'll definitely go and watch it. Yeah, we, and we, Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't watched Mission Impossible, yeah. so yeah, we need to watch that too. Alright, so thanks again for watching guys and see you guys for the next review. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>